Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about color options for your Volkswagen. Uh, many people are always uh, emailing me asking me, hey, you know, what are the color options for say my 57 Beetle, my 62 Beetle? Uh, what do they offer those years and uh, how could I uh, make my decision on what to, what to paint my car? Uh, if you're one out there that wants to stay true to your car, stay true to your year, um, it's really cool. You can find this information. Uh, two sites I use religiously when it comes to color options uh, is either Wolfsburg West or uh, thesamba.com. So I'm going to show you two sections where you can learn uh, what color options you can use for your Beetle. Um, on Wolfsburg West's website, I, I know in addition to selling parts, they do have a lot of helpful information for you, uh, which is kind of buried and you got to kind of find it, but it's there. So if you go on their website and just scroll down, and you see at the bottom here it says color charts. You click on that. It's going to bring up a whole description and explanation about what, what kind of paints were used and yada yada. So I just kind of scroll down and say onto the charts. It's a really small link at the bottom. And then when you get there, it brings up a whole year breakdown for Beetle and Bus of what color options were used. So say you have a 57 Beetle and you want to see what colors were offered. Let's click 57. And then they have a list of the colors that were offered. Now, I see sometimes conflicting information from here and the Samba and then uh, also a Bible book that I have, you know, Car of the Century book will also say different colors as well sometimes. So you just kind of kind of have to reference or maybe ask some other people in a VW community, but for the most part um, this is pretty true to what was offered. So what's nice is they have the, the color codes. So most of the uh, Beetle color code started with an L and it was, it was like a two or three digit number. So say you had uh, Polar Silver and you click on that, that's L324 and they give you the swatch. Now don't go by that swatch on the on the computer screen. Monitor uh, uh, colors can be very different. Uh, picture, you know, uh, uh, in the, a picture shot of the swatch and then upload it to the web and then, you know, shown on your monitor just might not be very accurate so don't really go by that color um, but they give you the code at least to uh, to look up now I, what I'll tell you is is that when you go to your painter and you give them that code chances are that code is not going to come up in the system today yes you can go online and punch in that code on Google Google is your friend I've said that before in other videos and you punch that code up and put in the name of the color, Polar Silver, VW, and you see what comes up. And sometimes a cross-reference code will come up, or a PPG cross-reference code. So let's say, let's grab this. Let's grab L324 Polar Silver. Hit Control C. Let's open up a new tab. Let's go to Google. Let's add that to Google. And let's just put VW, and I would say, let's say cross-reference, or say put in PPG, and see what comes up here. Okay, so this website always comes up as paintref.com, okay? Paintref.com, and you click on color codes, L324. This website will come up, and then as you can see right here, okay, the PPG cross-reference code from L324 is 31549. Okay, so you click, you can bring that code to your painter, and then your painter should be able to find that. Now, I've had ups and downs success with that. Um, these codes seem to be kind of old, um, and maybe need to be updated now on the web. Uh, but sometimes you do, you hit it, you hit a home run, and uh, they're able to come up with the code. Um, so you can use paintref.com, but I also did mention if you go to the Samba, so let's go to the Samba, and a good section on the Samba, if you go to technical and go to paint upholstery over here on the pull down menu, now just remember up here by default on the top navigation here, type 1, type 2, type 3, and GIA, type 2 is always on default, type 2 is always on default, so you have to go to type 1. And then he has all the paint swatches here as well on this website. Um, 
And so you can scroll down and see some examples. Sometimes you click on, you know, they have a picture icon here, like say for Inca Red, and you click on this and, you know, you look at that. Don't take that as a, a definite uh, color, uh, uh, exact color replication of what the car is. You know, sometimes these pictures are just uploaded by anybody, and I've seen some stuff that's way off. So you got to take everything with a grain of salt, right? But what they have here on the Samba is if you scroll all the way down, Okay, here's your section here of all your paint chips, all in one nice convenient section, right? And what's really cool is if you find your color and your year, say we got here Fontana Gray for, 50, for 65 to 67 Beetle, they have the L number, the L595, okay, that's the original code, and then right next to it here is the PPG cross-reference code or equivalent. So you would go here and grab this code, and give that to your painter if the L595 uh, does not come up on his system. So, but you know, if your paint guys are savvy, they would know to just search Google and, and to, to do a cross reference or they have other sources to find these, these codes. But a lot of times they don't. A lot of times you bring them these codes and uh, they don't know how to get the, the cross reference. And uh, my guys are always telling me to, hey, I need the, the cross reference code. I can't find uh, what, you're, you know, what you're looking to get. So, um, now, again, bear in mind, some of these codes are kind of old, and I, I give them these uh, PPG codes, and uh, unfortunately, some of these codes are old, and they're not working anymore, so you got to dig a little bit deeper, so you keep doing some Google searches, but that's a quick video. I just wanted to show you, you know, how to uh, go about getting some paint uh, for your bug, and how, where to choose, and what was offered for your year, and then uh, how to do a cross-reference uh, for your old code to your to a newer code uh, so you can uh, paint your car correctly um, Just bear in mind that sometimes even with the newer codes um, You might be slightly off. I mean, it's not always a hundred percent exact Okay, I have guys that even go to Germany and get the glass or paint and they have it shipped all the way in To America and they go to paint the car and the color is off so um, Do some spray out cards. You always got to tell your painter to do give me some spray out cards and some samples before you start painting my car and that's what you want to do okay that's that tip for today and uh if you got any questions email me chris at classic take care guys